Okay, I want to show you what horrible fisheye looks like. Now before I do that, I want to tell you that I always use a clean, fresh rag with wax and grease remover. For some reason, before I clear coated this, I accidentally picked up a dirty rag and then used wax and grease remover. So here's what it looks like and this is how you fix it. Sand the whole thing down flat and re-clear it. So my intentions were to sand this down anyways to block it and buff it out but I didn't plan on having to sand this flat and then re-clearing it and then sanding it flat and buffing it out. I, uh, I counted this done but now if this happens to you you've got to block it down and re-clear it. Thank God for me, I put three coats of clear over the candy. So I'm able to, to sand the candy or the clear coats down without biting into my candy. But you gotta be careful with this also because if you start sanding and you start getting green dust, that means you're taking off candy coats and you don't wanna do that. So this is what a, a dirty rag with silicones or some kind of oils on it does to these paints and it causes these horrible fish eyes you can see the pattern from I wiped it down with the wax and grease remover you can see the the strokes pattern in the fish eye it's like it's like lizard skin sucks even though I used wax and grease remover I picked up a dirty rag that had something on it I don't know what it was I don't know how it got on there but something was on that rag and this is gonna set me back a few days so here we go all better now psych when I first started this video I was like devastated because I, I knew that I had to resand all this stuff because I did everything, the hard bags, the bag covers, um, the front fender, rear fender. But I got it all sanded down and re-clear coated. And here's the final product. That's how your clear coat should look with no fish eye. So now I can wet sand and uh, polish this out. Uh, get rid of these tape lines it's kind of hard to see them they're there there's some right here there's a little bit of dirt and I'll get rid of all that stuff by wet blocking it and then polishing it out and it'll be done <laughs> 